Hello and welcome to this video on current voltage and resistance from physics friend friend physics physics friend friend. We're going to talk today about electricity, about a circuit, about circuits, not just one but maybe several. We're going to talk about voltmeters, ammeters, current, resistance, voltage, potential difference and a few other things. The video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because there's going to be more stuff inside the video so that explains that. First thing, definitions. Current. What is current? The current is like the flow of charge. It's the rate of flow of charge. To put it another way, it's the flow of the electrons around the circuit. Okay. When a current is flowing, you've got electrons moving in a circle, or whatever shape the, the circuit is, and they're moving in a kind of cyclical motion. They're making a circuit. There has to be a full circuit in order for current to flow. Current cannot flow if the circuit is broken. So if I put a switch in, open the switch, because there's a gap in the circuit, the current will not flow. No electricity will flow. So think of the current as the flow of charge. It's the flow of charge around the circuit or the flow of electrons around the circuit. Now, what makes that charge flow around the circuit? We're going to need some sort of power supply. And in most cases, this power supply is supplied by a battery of some sort or a power a power supply like a mains power supply which is going to give us a potential difference aka also known as voltage so potential difference voltage for the, for the examples here they're exactly the same thing it's the difference between the potential at one point and another point now this voltage is what supplies the push if you like it's like the push it's the, I, he, I hesitate to use the word force because, you know, we're good physicists, we use the right terminology. It's not really a force. It's not like there's something, you know, applying a force of 12 newtons on this electron and pushing it along. That's not happening. What's happening is that there's a potential difference between here and here, the two terminals, which through electrostatic forces creates a current to flow, i.e. a current to flow. Do you remember what a current is? It's a flow of charge, it's a flow of electrons around a circuit. This voltage is kind of like the push which actually creates that flow around the circuit. Resistance. Resistance is anything which stops the current flowing or slows down the current from flowing. We're going to have a tiny bit of resistance in all circuits in, in reality. Theoretically we can assume that there's zero resistance but in reality there's often you know, some resistance there. What kind of things are going to give us resistance? Well, a light bulb will. A filament bulb will give us some resistance, a couple of ohms maybe. A resistor is going to give us resistance. And guess what? Depending on the resistor, we'll get a different amount of resistance. So if it's a 2 ohm resistor, it's going to give us 2 ohms of resistance. A 5 ohm resistor, 5 ohms of resistance, etc, etc. You can have a variable resistor as well, which looks like this. The symbol, that is. It doesn't actually look like that. That would be weird. If you're building a circuit and you brought out this wire cage with an arrow through it, that would wouldn't work but anyway this is what the symbol looks like for a variable resistor now a variable resistor quite simply is something which we can change the resistance of so we wish like as we wish so fancy 12 ohms put it up create more wire resistance wire for the current to have to go through more resistance wire in the variable resistor means that there's going to be more resistance uh, overall in that particular component there Let's think about some questions then. If I'm going to have a fixed circuit with a fixed voltage and I've got a resistor here, if I increase the resistance of this resistor, turn it into a 10 ohm resistor rather than a 5 ohm resistor, if I increase the resistance of that resistor, less current is going to flow. Greater resistance means a smaller current. So you've seen this equation before, V equals IR. Assuming that the voltage is the same, because the voltage is unlikely to change unless we're, you know, constantly changing around the batteries, adding more or less, you know, plugging things in and changing the cells around. Then the voltage is going to be fixed. Let's say it's fixed at, I don't know, 9 volts. So it's fixed at 9 volts. Now, as I increase the resistance, I've got the same voltage. If I increase the resistance, the resistance goes up the current must go down. It has to, because they have an inverse relationship. So if current, if, if resistance goes up, current goes down. 
you have resistance goes down, current goes up. So one goes up, one goes down. And it makes sense because if I increase the resistance on something, then less current's gonna flow anyway because there's more resistance there. It's like throwing, it's like being a beaver and being like, see that river over there? I'm gonna throw some logs in there and I'm gonna resist the current flowing. I'm gonna keep chucking logs in there until they pile up. They're really heavy logs. They don't float down the river. They're like really dense wood, like some beech or some really, I don't know, fresh oak or something like that. Maybe they throw like an oak table in there and they're building it up in the river. Now, as you add more wood into the river, you've got an increase in resistance. You're increasing the resistance, so the rate of the flow of water, in this example, is gonna be less. The current is gonna be less, because you've got all these things in the water. It's exactly the same in an in an ele it, Try that again. It's exactly the same in an electric circuit. So the higher the resistance, the less current is gonna flow. Okay, a couple of things about ammeters, voltmeters. Ammeter, an ammeter measures the current. It measures the current, simple. Unit for currents, currents, current. Unit for current is of course amps. So you might have three amps, four amps, five amps. You're unlikely to get really large numbers in amps because one amp is actually quite a lot. So you may even be measuring it in milliamps, or which is of course is 1,000 of an amp. The thing about ammeters is we always connect them in series. We always connect them in series. So if we have a circuit like here, it must be connected in series. A voltmeter, however, must be connected not in series. Not in series. Voltmeter must be in parallel. Voltmeter always in parallel. Never in series. It won't work. It just won't work because voltmeters are very, 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 very high resistance, really high resistance. So the voltmeter uh, resistance of a voltmeter is very high, which means that if you put it in series, like the whole current, the whole circuit would stop working, the current would stop flowing. Voltmeters must be connected in parallel across the component that you're measuring the voltage of. So say I've got a, a six volt supply here, I've got a nice simple circuit where I've got one filament bulb, I'm gonna connect the voltmeter across the filament bulb in parallel to take a measurement of the voltage across that bulb. And it should be, if in a, ideally, it should have all the voltage because there's just one component, it will have all the voltage from the battery. Simple. Okay, we've covered there voltage, current, resistance. I think that's it. If I left anything out, just see there, just write it in the box, type it in on your phone or on your computer, computer. Type it in, ask me a question, I will then type back, like we're like writing letters to each other, and I'll respond to that question and answer anything that I missed out. I don't think I did, but you never know. No one's perfect. This is Physics Friend. Thank you for watching. Uh, we've got videos here, which you can click on. You can click subscribe just there. So check that out. More there. And I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.